Welcome back to A Writing Guy. After many years doing this YouTube channel and the Instagram, there have been countless time people DM me asking for what fountain pens to buy. So today I'm going to list out 10 fountain pen options for you guys to blind buy from affordable to the more luxurious and high-end one. I hope this will be some sort of a guide and, and from my personal experience and it can help you picking out your next purchases. If you would like to support the channel, please click like and subscribe as well as if you're looking for your next fountain pen, notebooks or inks, please check out a writing guy shop on Instagram. I offer worldwide shipping and 24 seven support. Starting off with the most affordable one and the smallest one in the range, the Pilot Petite one. Now, this one only uses cartridges and without it being capped, it will be really small. It comes with a steel nib. You get a reliable throwaway fountain pen that you can put in your pocket or purses and it can be your backup pen for any kind of situation. Next up in the throwaway pen, you also have the Platinum Preppy. There are three nib sizes to choose from, extra fine, fine and medium. There are plenty colors to choose from as well. Uh, they don't come with a converter, but you can buy them separately. There is also the Muji version of the Platinum Preppy that you can buy at Muji stores as well. Speaking of Muji, the next one is the Muji Aluminium Fountain Pen. It comes with a Smith nib and it writes pretty decent for $15. Uh, you can also use international size cartridges and converter. Uh, they don't come with the converter, but you can also buy them separately as well. Which I don't have right now is the Twisby Eco. I'll include video and writing sample from my previous review on it. Now you can get a really reliable piston filler for about 50 to 55 US dollar. It's a demonstrator as well. So you can really use shimmers and sheening inks without worry that it will break the pen. Next up, a uh, Lamy Safari or pretty much any kind of Lamy under 100 US dollar. Now, these comes with the standard Lamy steel nib and you can buy various nib sizes to replace. And also, if you would like to upgrade them to a 14 karat gold nib, Lamy sell them separately as well. They are popular because of the minimalistic designs as well as the German engineering. They're kind of boring. I dis them a lot, but they fit the aesthetics of the model modern user, so buy as well. Next, this one might be a controversial one, but I would recommend any Moon Man or Majan fountain pen, any way you want to call them. I do not like the fact that they are copying designs from other pen makers. However, Chinese fountain pen manufacturers have been competing very well with the rest of the world and their material as well as finishing has been improving recently. If you would like to try out the form factor of any high-end pens and you don't have the budget for it, Moonman is the way to go. Especially with their colorful resins and their piston filler, they're doing pretty well for what they offer and you can opt to upgrade the nib to box nib to improve their writing experience. Next, any Faber-Castell or Graf von Faber-Castell. You get the classic German designs, you get exotic materials, you get a weighty solid writer, and pretty much you can go in and blind buy. Any Faber-Castell fountain pen will be an excellent writer right out of the box. They are on a pricier end of the spectrum, but you are guaranteed to have something that is reliable and will last you a really long time. Uh, we're getting into the high-end gold nib territory. My first recommendations for the gold nib side of things would be any of the three-digit Pilot fountain pens. If you would like to get the smaller size number 10 nib from Pilot, any of the 912 or 742 would do a wonderful job as they can take the Con70 converter, they write beautifully and you get a smooth writer. But if you would like to get something a bit more, the A2 or the A45 would be the way to go as the number 15 size nib is big and it gives you that feeling of writing with a more luxurious pen but with a more competitive pricing. 
Now, this one might be controversial, but any of the Sailor nib with the 21 karat gold nib. So that includes any Pro Gear, Pro Gear Real Low, or 1911 large. They are definitely more expensive for what they are, but you get that distinctive signature feedback from Sailor, and they offer excellent writer, and also they have a wonderful catalog of signature or calligraphy nib that you can try them out. So pretty much any Sailor 21 karat gold go in blind buy okay this is not so unexpected but because i'm a mont blanc fanboy so any modern mont blanc would be your best purchase for your money now of course they are expensive and they're overpriced however you can rest assured that they will write right out of the box they give you that german engineering they have the style nailed down they have the brand name they have pretty much everything and especially for the 146 lines and up you get a solid writer with a, an excellent ink capacity people would recognize a Mont Blanc wherever you go all right now I would like to hear from you what do you think about this list of fountain pens what would be your top 10 blind buy recommendations please comment down below or if you disagree with any of my recommendations please comment down below as well thank you guys for watching if you are looking for more fountain pen related content please check out writingguide.com for more written reviews photos and more and for regular updates please check out the instagram a writing guy thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one